Okay, guys, welcome back. So we have a bit of an interesting one. It's actually been a couple of turns. Just a couple, though, not too many turns. Basically, Richard's army... Uh, remember, we landed his army right over here, and he was heading towards Hamburg, and of course he reached it and started putting it under siege. But it uh, looks like there was a uh, army of the Danes kind of nearby, and so they have now chosen to attack and not allow the siege to continue. Uh, looks like they have a pretty sizable number of troops and some not really bad ones either. We've got plenty of dismounted feudal knights. I um, actually don't know how good. How good are these Viking raiders? Okay, that's that's not great, admittedly. What about the dismounted Huskarls? Oh, those guys are pretty good. Effective against armor. And actually, I think the Viking raiders are too. Yeah, yeah, they are. I mean, some of these units aren't too good, like the peasants and the militia, but... And, like, I, I doubt those peasant archers are too good either. But, you know, at the same time, they've got a, a decent mix of, like, some good, some bad units there. The garrison actually had some, you know, pretty decent units, too. And the king is there as well, King Charles the Cruel. He's got his dismounted feudal knights and a catapult that he'll be bringing into the fight. So, anyway, let's get right into the battle. The first battle with Richard and his new army versus... What has been one of our longest running enemies because we just haven't really been fighting each other very much. So this is the first like major engagement I would say with them. Well, no, actually that's not true. I think they did attack Antwerp at one point with a sizable force. Or was that, was that someone else? Hmm. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. We'll rewrite the history books to make it favorable to us anyway. So let's just begin the battle. Glory to your name, sire. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. So we've set up our position over here because uh, the reinforcements I knew would be coming from the south, well, the south uh, east. And so basically I've made it so that um, the main enemy force will be in our front and the enemy reinforcements will kind of be behind them. Uh, if we had started off kind of where the uh, deployment zone was kind of expecting us to, it would actually be over here and I didn't want them to be able to come like and outflank us. So what we've got here is I had my longbow, or my yeoman archers, put their stakes just in front of the armored swordsmen here so that they, they are protected from a cavalry charge. Or somewhat. I know there's gaps, but I can't stretch it so that they're perfectly covered. We do have our trebuchets, and I think this is the first battle we'll be using them. Trebuchet. Is everyone set to fire? And yes. Okay, good. So they use fire ammunition once the enemy gets within range here. And of course we have, again, the yeoman archers themselves. We're just a slightly better version of the longbowmen. I don't remember exactly how much better, but, you know, it is what it is. It looks like they're not going to wait for their reinforcements. And the reinforcements aren't exactly running to <laughs> catch up and get into position, so... We should be able to defeat this force first, and then go after the other force. Do they actually even have much in the way of cavalry? They do not actually have a single cavalry unit, so I guess the stakes are basically worthless. Um, I think there was a general, though, amongst... Yeah, yeah, the king. The king is in the garrison there, so maybe he can run onto the stakes. Oh, our trebuchets are already firing. Excellent. I forgot, they would have longer range than the catapults, wouldn't they? Let's have them target those knights there. Ooh, look at that. I, I'm having them target these knights not just because they're a better unit, but also because this is kind of a... The, you know, thickest part of their lines here, and I think that would just be the most likely to do a lot of damage. Though, look at that. Ouch. Of course, it would help if they actually hit them. <laughs> I know that was one good shot, but uh, we need more than just one good shot here, guys. <laughs> the longbowmen will start firing here. Oh, and the catapults are firing, too. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, you guys start firing on them as well. We'll let the uh, the longbowmen actually, or the yeoman archers, fire on these guys. In 
fact, um, no, don't fire it well anymore. Just fire directly on, whoops, not that. Fire right on these guys here. Ooh, there we go. Excellent shots there. Right. All right, let's have the Yeoman archers start firing on some of these guys here. And what we'll do is, I think it's time to have some of the cavalry pull along the side here, and we can start chasing off those archers. In fact, uh, why don't we tell the... siege equipment to stop firing so that we can have our cavalry come out here in a relatively safe way. You guys fire over here. You guys fire there. Fire there. And fire there. Alright, you guys charge into there. their crossbowmen and their ranged units here. Let's try and push them back. You guys stop firing there. Oh, we have lots of routing going along here, so let's bring our cavalry... Men have slain the enemy general. Troops will lose their will to fight. Some more of our cavalry forward, which I know as long as they pass through the stakes there, we should be fine. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Guys, retreat. I just realized some of the front rank there was actually getting towards the stakes. Let's let's not have them let's not have them do that. Alright, charge, charge, charge. Have the general kind of get over here. Charge them in the rear. Army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Um. Oh no! You've got to be kidding me! Right now, at this point in the battle, <sighs> that's unfortunate. Okay, guys, welcome back to the battle again. <laughs> Obviously, um, this is just the same battle again. I think we're not exactly in the same position. I thought we were, like, somewhere, like, over here, but the deployment zone didn't extend that far. I could be wrong. Maybe this is the position we were in before, but, I don't know, it just seems slightly off from where it was. Hopefully the battle will go more or less as it did. And um, just to clarify something, that is actually the first crash of the uh, the campaign. So, I mean, if that's the only one we have, that's not so bad. If we have tons of them, then obviously that's not so good. But, I mean, how many battles have we fought thus far? And that's the uh, the only one we've crashed on. That's That's not so bad. Maybe we'll do even better this time. Who knows? <laughs> wow, I told that cat- Well, no, I guess their their target was, was approaching, I suppose. Alright, let's have them now target these guys in the rear, and you guys... 
stop firing it. Well, what I am going to do is have you start deliberately targeting units that are attacking us. So how about, say, that unit there, that unit there, and I say that unit there. All right, meanwhile, let's have the cavalry sweep around the flanks again. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. You guys here, you guys there. Let's have you guys actually fire there, and then you guys fire somewhere over on the side there. Just so that the cavalry can get in here without an issue. You guys stop firing. Um, stop firing. <laughs> As in, stop firing, please. Um, seriously, why are you guys still firing? Stop firing. Alright, guys get over here. Get over here. Have these heavy infantry actually leave the lines as well, just to make sure that... Let's see, fire in the rear back here. All right, we can tell the archers to stop firing now because I think we have a lot of routing going on here. So let's have the cavalry step out of the line here. You guys, oh wait, is there still? I guess there are still enemies here to fight. All right, you guys get over here and help these guys out. All right, and we need to hurry up and get over there so that we can prevent those guys from routing, or turning from their route. Oh, and of course, just as I say that, they start coming back. Well, hopefully we can get them to route again very quickly. Okay, one of you go over there. Another one of you go over here. See, shake in. Here, General, come over here. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, actually, you guys leave them be. All right, and so now they've broken. Get over here. Get over here. You guys get over there and go get those peasant archers. Alright, now we need these guys to come back here. As you can see, the enemy approaches. Well, let's see, let's have the archers resume firing at will. We can fire at that crossbow unit as they approach. Oh, that's right. They have their own catapults. That will be painful and annoying, to be honest. All right, turn around and get those guys there. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Okay, that takes care of them. <laughs> wow, the, uh, the catapults are uh, pushing far ahead of the actual, like, unit, which is kind of interesting, I suppose. All right, how are you guys doing over here? All right, you guys are all looking good. So why don't we start having you just kind of come over here and we'll outflank the enemy as they get within range of us. Oh, that could hurt. Ow, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt.
How nice that they're able to hit us with like every single shot. And we didn't, haven't hit them yet. Oh, no, no. There we go. We hit someone. Oh, they actually destroyed one of our catapults. How nice. For them. Okay, seriously, they've managed to hit that unit basically every single time. And my trebuchets have, like, yet to hit even once. Alright. Cavalry, get over here. And they managed to hit the other catapults. Like, how were they able to do that? My, my catapults and everything haven't even come close to hitting any of them yet. Alright, you guys stop firing at will. Yeah, let's just have a unit charge in there and take them out then, since that's apparently how that's going to have to go. Alright, yeoman archers, fire at them. You guys fire there. in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Indeed it will. Alright, so, charge into the rear. And you assist. You guys come over here and charge them in the rear here. And of course that feudal knight unit is losing quite heavily against the general's bodyguard. Though they are fully surrounded, so we shouldn't have an issue. Alright, Archers, all of you stop firing as our units charge in the rear here. I said, as our units charge in the rear here. <laughs> that was the wimpiest, dumbest looking charge I've ever seen. All right, are you guys done killing this crew yet? No, somehow they managed to not kill them. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press it. You guys attack. Oh, shoot. No, no. Do not fire. Do not fire. In fact, march. <laughs> Go away. But I think his majesty... Oh, no, no. He's not getting away. Oh, that's right. No, no. We did get a message. Enemy general fallen. Good, good. All right. Kill these guys. Kill these guys. Or as many of them as you can before they manage to cross out of the map. Guess you go get the catapults. I have to admit, casualties were unfortunately large. Though not, like, devastating, I have to remember, I believe the Armored Swordsmen start off with 120 guys, not 150. Like, you know, the spearmen that we typically use. Alright, what else have we got here? Um, let's see. Zoom in a little more. Yeah, it looks like the only enemy units still on the battlefield are these guys over here. We're not going to be able to catch the general's bodyguard, so it's just this catapult crew that we will get. Assuming our knights continue to charge at them and not just stop for no reason. Of course, I also don't know how many uh, casualties will be healed up, so I guess we'll have to take a look at that as well. All right, so is it just the uh, the enemy general? Oh, um, I think he just left the battlefield? Oh, no, 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 he's about to. I guess he's no longer on the map. Oh, is he no longer on the map because he's, like, over the hill, so my units can't see him? All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. 
All right, let's take a look. 323, eh? I mean, that's a lot, though. We did have to face quite a sizable force, did we not? See, the armored swordsmen. Surprisingly, for the most part, they only gave as good as they got. Except for, like, this unit here, which did, like, twice as many. But, like, like this unit here is only slightly more. This is basically even. This is basically even. This is basically even. And these guys basically didn't fight. <laughs> uh, these two armored swordsman units must be the ones that were kind of guarding the flanks. At least I presume they were. Feudal knights did very well. At least if you include the prisoners caught. This feudal knight unit actually did very well. This one didn't at all. Didn't do very good at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Look at all the casualties they sustained, and all the. And they only got like twenty-three kills. I mean, I know they got they caught prisoners, and you know that's all well and good, but still, expect better. The yeoman, yeoman archers obviously did a lot of casualties, as expected. I, even the uh, the siege equipment actually did you know a decent amount of damage. I mean, they killed more than. Uh, any of the, well, some of the armored swordsmen, I guess. All right, still, obviously, still very, very successful battle. Richard has, wait, did we kill their king or did we capture him? Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment because let's take this back to the campaign map. Well, that certainly looks like a king's ransom, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so we captured him. Man, that is a lot of money. Of course, that's also a lot of enemies who will get, um, we will have to fight again if we ransom them. But you know what? Fine, so be it. Give me the money. They cannot afford the ransom. So be it. All right, now I suspect these guys will be, you know, quite loyal anyway. So I think we could just go ahead and occupy this one. All right, so we are back on the map, and we are in control of Hamburg. I don't know where those guys think they're going. Or where those... Well, actually, I guess these guys would probably be wise to retreat. But these guys, I don't know if they think they're heading over to Antwerp to, like, take them out. But um, I'm not even going to give chase, because there's no way they're going to succeed there. All right, but anyways, despite our unfortunate crash, we have made it and we have taken Hamburg without having to, you know, fight a siege battle. And we destroyed what must be probably quite a sizable portion of the Danish military. So hopefully battles going forward will have far fewer troops to oppose us, especially if we very quickly move from settlement to settlement. As I said in a previous episode, our plan is to go north and just take all the territory here before returning and taking what is probably their last settlement right here or what would be their last settlement uh, once the war is basically over. But anyway, um, I guess that's it for now. I guess there's not much to talk about here on the campaign map, at least not yet. So I will just bring you guys back as more of interest occurs. Okay, guys, welcome back. So we're just going to run through the campaign map really quick because we only have a small battle to fight this turn. Uh, not too much is happening here. A unfortunate rebel force has spawned right there. Very unfortunate, but um, I guess we don't have the forces to come down here and take it out. And I'm not sure the garrisons really could at the moment either. So we'll just build up some forces here probably and take that take them out, or just wait for the army to come back from its conquests. Though to be honest, that will be quite some time. And depending on if the ch the Turks choose to attack us, it may not happen at all. So. I guess we'll we'll hold off on that for now, but um, I think we are just going to have to build up some forces here and go take them out. They're sitting right on the road, too. But anyway, um, let's see. Morikar, the Crusader, he, has, he couldn't quite reach Antioch, which is a little unfortunate, but that's our next target here. Uh, quite a sizable force holding it, but I think we can take them out. 
Not without, uh, you know, a fair amount of casualties, admittedly, but I, uh, I mean, it's not like these units are the best. I mean, there's a few good ones in there. And of course, the general's bodyguards are really, really the problem that I'm <laughs> looking at right now. But um, I guess regardless, we do have, um, let's see, some armored swordsmen coming up here that can replace some of our casualties as well. And basically what I'm going to do is just keep training up replacements and kind of start sending them north and just depending on how many casualties we take we may have to like wait for reinforcements to arrive or maybe we'll manage to conquer this territory and then start coming back south and we can meet reinforcements as we move south instead but regardless that is what we are where we are at in the middle east though so actually before we leave i just realized um i think this is actually their last settlement apart from uh tripoli so I think with this, we'll have actually broken most of Egypt's power because I believe like this, this fortress here or castle or whatever it is, I think this will be their last settlement once we take Antioch. So after that, it's just a whole bunch of rebel settlements and a possible war with the Turks, I guess, depending on whether the Turks want a war or not, because to be honest, I'm not going to attack them, at least not yet. Uh, I still got plenty of uh, rebel settlements here that we can take and start building up, so I'll be happy to take those. And uh, we'll go to war with the Turks later, depending on whether, I guess, they declare war on us or not. I have a feeling they will declare war on us, just because, well, everyone has declared war on us, so I, d I don't know why they would, you know, show any real restraint. <sighs> All right, but anyways, um, we have the army of Edward the Mauler. I almost said Edward of Oxford, but no, he is Edward the Mauler. He is heading towards Bern, and he will be there by next turn. I'm not sure. I think we will try and build some ladders. I feel like we may need them because it's a castle, so our catapults may or may not be able to take out every like tower and everything that we want. So I will spend a turn building ladders, and I'm just hoping that His Holiness doesn't tell us to leave them alone again. Because that just expired this turn, so we can actually fight France and we can fight Milan. Until His Holiness once again tells us to leave them alone, which... Everything I do lowers <laughs> His Holiness's opinion of me, everything that I do. So, that could be coming quite soon. Now over in Spain, I've put the backup army here on this bridge. I'm not sure if the French will try and attack us or not. They don't have great troops, but then again, neither do I. So I guess we'll just see what happens there. He can at least guard the bridge and make sure the French don't try and attack us while we're trying to take out Pamplona. So His Majesty has put Pamplona under siege, and it has not a... I mean, it has a pretty sizable garrison, not the biggest I've seen, but at the same time, a good quality one. These Pavis crossbowmen are really good. These guys are okay, but they're also javelin throwers with armor-piercing javelins, so that's quite worrying to look at, frankly. Almost more so than the Pavis crossbowmen. Then, of course, they have dismounted feudal knights. I don't see I don't see a bad unit here. Like, even if these guys aren't necessarily the greatest, they're still a pretty good unit, frankly. So um, I, I suspect many a casualty will occur there. And I remember it's a citadel as well. So they'll have three layers of walls to get, to help protect them. Oh, actually. Um, can my spy not get a little closer and see some more of those buildings? I don't think he can actually perform like a mission against them because... Uh, yeah, because they're under siege. Okay, no, no, no. There we go. That's all we needed. I actually wondered if they had ballista towers, because I'm pretty sure a citadel can make those. Right? Is that correct? Improved towers? Oh. Yes, yes, they can. They can make ballista towers at the level of a citadel, which is what they these guys are at. But it looks like they didn't build them, so it'll just be regular arrow towers. Okay. That's fine, I guess. The army of Richard is... Um, replenishing, honestly. We took a, a fair number of casualties in that last battle, but this is a fortress, so we can actually replenish our armored swordsmen, we can recruit new feudal knights, uh, they even have the yeoman archers, so we actually can just retrain our army here for a bit before heading to Aris. 
Not that we want to wait here for too many turns, but maybe one or two turns just to get some replacements in here and we should be able to move on. And again, we do have mercenary spearmen available in this region, so I'm half tempted to maybe wait here for just one turn. And then just immediately leave. And we'll grab some mercenary spearmen to replace the armored swordsmen we lost. And once we've taken this territory and come back south, we can always then replace our mercenary spearmen with, uh, you know, armored swordsmen. You know what, that actually sounds like a pretty good idea. That's probably what I should do. So... We'll just remove that there, so we'll just wait here for a single turn. And so now, finally, we come to the... Oh, wait. Wait. Was that all the armies? Yes. I think that was all the armies. Yes, it was. All right. So anyway, um, one thing that I forgot to mention um, is that on the end turn, we actually got an offer of a ceasefire from the Holy Roman Empire and from Egypt. And both were refused because, frankly... Um, now is the time to start taking their stuff, so we're gonna continue doing that, because, I mean, once, uh, Edward the Mauler has taken Burn, obviously the Holy Roman Empire will be our next target. Uh, that'll also be a target of Richard, though admittedly that's pretty far into the future, because he has some settlements to take up here, but, um, I, I don't think it's a good idea to try and get peace with them yet. Or, actually, probably even at all. Because, uh, to be honest, they're just our logical next target. And since, you know, they started this war, I think um, they deserve to suffer the consequences for it. All right, but anyway, the battle that we are going to fight. It's the general army with a couple of uh, spear militia units here as kind of infantry fodder. And we're going to relieve the second siege here of Metz. Uh, basically, we're just going to attack this force here and presumably draw in the besiegers there as well. So let's just go ahead and let them have it. And they are not retreating. Oh. That's an interesting thought, actually. Because what I could do is just eliminate this force, and then attack this force and eliminate it separately. But wait, is there any real point to that? I mean, this first force is really tiny. It's not like... I don't think I'm really gaining anything by delaying that. Okay, no night attack then. We will simply attack as we are now. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. I've got my infantry just kind of hanging out on this hill for now. What I'm going to do is just uh, have the generals kind of run in here and eliminate these guys as quickly as possible. In fact, um, I guess there's not really much point in waiting, is there? The enemy general lies dead. We've sent the base cur to hell. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. <laughs> They've lost half their men. Yeah, that's not all that impressive, to be honest. Alright, the enemy... The rest of them are up there on that hill area. Or coming from this hill area, I should say. So... Let's actually have our infantry kind of move over here. Just in case they are needed. To be honest, I don't think they will be. And it looks like the generals have all stopped. So let's go ahead and bring them over here. What exactly have we got here? Um, some crossbowmen, some peasants, some knights, and some more crossbowmen. Alright, we should be able to just uh, have a lovely cavalry charge directly into them. Um, though I guess it might take us... It'll take us a couple of minutes to get in position, so I guess I will bring you guys back as we're ready to do our charge here. Alright guys, after that brief delay, here comes the charge. And of course, we have cavalry sweeping in the rear and attacking their flanks as well. So let's just, uh, here. Well, actually, you guys go over there. You guys charge in here. You guys charge in there. You guys charge in there. We will smash the enemy. 
I actually don't think they got any um, bolts off either, so we should be good there. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Only half the enemy force remains. Hmm. That's weird. Did I not get a victory message yet? It seems like everyone... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, it seems like everyone's retreating. I wonder who... Oh, maybe it was these guys who were... Oh, it must have been these guys who were still fighting. General's bodyguard. Everyone else was definitely running. General's bodyguard. Kill the peasants! Kill the peasants! I think my general might have actually killed that one guy there, or captured, I guess, that one guy there. Oh, there we go. That takes care of them. No one else appears to be fighting or on the field. Oh, wait. Actually, here. Everyone, go get these. Wait, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, there are seven knights here. You guys are not going to escape. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Oh, we lost two whole guys, eh? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I guess there isn't too much to look at. Um, we came, we saw, we ran them down with a bunch of cavalry, so I guess, uh, let's take this back. Oh, actually, wait. Should I, uh, well, to be honest, I can't even tell whose general's bodyguard is whose, so everyone did well. We'll just say that. Everyone did well. No, hardly any casualties were taken, and everyone inflicted more than they took, so we'll, we'll call that a win. Now, I'm actually curious if the Empire can afford this. They can, but they didn't. Such is the fate of all who oppose us. Oh, wow. Um, lots of... Wait, feels unappreciated. Oh, wait, trait decrease. Oh, no, no, that, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Um, let's see, cruel, uninhibited. Oh, no, 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 we, we lost that trait, the feels unappreciated trait, because I don't see it here. So he's actually more loyal than he was, though, to be honest, um, he's actually quite loyal as it is. So even if he had lost a bit of loyalty, it's probably fine. Oh, the Holy Roman Empire hates us for defending our territory from their aggression. Oh, how unfortunate. How, how terrible of us. I don't know how we could have possibly done such a hideous thing to them. All right, but anyway, we've now struck a couple of blows. One big and uh, a couple not so big, to be honest. But still, defending Metz, it would be a pain to take it back. So obviously, it's still a good thing. So basically, we're going to have the uh, this general army with its infantry just kind of cause problems for the Holy Roman Empire. Like, just kind of keep them guessing as to what we're going to do. Like, maybe we'll have them go over here and, like, threaten Frankfurt. Well, actually, ooh, actually, they have a pretty big garrison there, actually, and it looks like they have more troops coming this way. Um, what we should do is definitely place, like, a watchtower here so that we can kind of see further. Hmm. Interesting. The Kaiser's finest yearn to face you in battle. You know, we might be able to actually intercept them before they get to Stauffen. Like, what we could do is like, try and place our guys here. Oh, dang it. We can't cross the bridge. Oh, right. There are rebels there, too. I mean, they'll probably defeat the rebels, though, and then just enter Stauffen, at which point I'm not sure if we would hold it under siege. Maybe we should. Well, anyway, I guess we'll decide based on what they actually do. 
And now we can retrain the garrison here at Metz as well. All right, but anyways, um, that was it. Just wanted to give you guys an overarching update of the campaign map and fight a short, sweet battle against the Holy Roman Empire. So I will bring you guys back once again as more of interest occurs.